sa student's examination po. First po, nakaka-affective sa mga ng chichi at doon po sa pinag-chichitan. So, nakaka-affect po sa ng chichi. Of course po, mas tumataas sila. Mas tumataas yung grades nila kasi ano, ano po ba naman yun? Kung minds po yung ginamit. Um, doon doon po sa pinag-chichitan, um, maaari pong mas nakakataas yung flying chip po. Kaya po, nakaka-affective yung ranking po sa overall po ng isang Um, ng isang grade po. So, um, from recommendation naman po, researchers recommend students to focus on school and be responsible enough as a student so that during the examination, they will not have to cheap or copy from their situation or their building. As a student po, ako, we're supposed to be natin ng ating grades, ang ating lahat po. Um, dapat po, um, what the free pass po, dapat po atin lang. Kasi po, Responsible the question as a student po. Um, for my third boy statement of the problem po, is there any significant difference between the effects of color pasting and plagiarism in terms of sex po? So for the interpretation po, there is no significant difference between copy pasting and plagiarism, plagiarizing in terms of sex. Uh -huh. So in conclusion, in conclusion naman po, plagiarism is an easy way towards Better result to everything po. Of course po, thus po, time, ano pa, less time for consuming pa po. Thus, it does not only occur on the both, on one side of the sentence, but it is evident on both male and female students po. Um, para naman po sa recommendation, the researchers recommend to enlighten the students or provide enough knowledge about the effects and consequences of plagiarism to their studies and their mental capabilities, not minding the sex as basis po. Kasi, Um, most sa most po kasi sa students hindi po bibigyan yung plagiarism as long as they get the result they want po so for my fourth and last statement of the problem po based on the findings what teaching guide can be proposed to lessen the effects of plagiarism in academic performance um so um, um so for my interpretation po Most of the students are unaware of the possible outcomes of plagiarism and that they unknowingly, no, unknowingly commit the crime. Kasi po, most of the time, hindi po alam ng mga estudyante na nagpokomit na po pala sila ng plagiarism po. At hindi po nila alam na may possible consequences po ang crime na to. So, in conclusion po, the researcher will be published in a brochure containing information about plagiarism. Thus, it will be entitled Originality Matters, My Dear Own. So, for my recommendation po, the brochure should be produced and will be distributed to equal numbers of male and female students po and teachers. Um, that's all po. Thank you. It is the 46.67% in the scale of 5, which is strongly agreed. Would being intoxicated caused by alcohol can result to a disturbing behavior? Round number 5, which is last with a weighted mean of 3.83 with a verbal interpretation of highly effective. It is 26.67% in the scale of 5, which is strongly agree. It indicates that students should not really drink, drink alcohols because alcohols aren't good in study and in recommendations. And in conclusion, it indicates that students should not really drink it. According to their research, alcohols aren't indeed good in study recommendations. Alcohol vendors should not be allowed in selling alcohol beverages to minors, especially to students. Strict po sa pagbebenta ng mga alcohol po kasi dapat sinisigurado po nila na ano legal po yung age po ng isang ano po ng isang pong customer. Kasi po kung ganun po sila, bababa po yung rate ng mga estudyante na nagiinom po. Kasi kung 
katulad po ngayon, kasi alam naman po natin na hindi naman po gaong implemented yung parang ano po, um, patas na ano po, na ang mga estudyante or mga below 18 po ay ano, ay hindi dapat nagtiinom or nagko-consume na po anuman pong alcoholic po na beverages. E di sana po, ay ganun po na Ah, anak, ang, ang, anak ah, tama yan anak na sinasabi mo. Pero kung ikaw ang vendors mga anak, wala ka namang pakialam sa advantages ng alcohol drinking ng mga grade 11 students. So parang di yan anak, bakit, pino, bakit gusto mong maging problema ito ng mga alcohol vendors? Well, in anak, ang pinag-uusapan anak ay the drawbacks of alcohol drinking. So, ang ibig sabihin, anak, uh, tingnan mo, anak, ang disadvantages ng alcohol drinking ng grade 11 at rekomendahan mo sila about their drinking, the, the disadvantages of alcohol drinking. Now, kung gusto mo na, kasi anak, pagdating mo sa college, anak, lalo po na mga, mga panel mo ay talagang magagaling talaga na ako, ah, Kung questionin ka pa rin anak eh, wala kasi wala kasing problema ang alcohol vendor sa drawbacks of alcohol drinking ng grade 11. Wala silang pakialam doon. Now, pwede mo anak na ilagay pa rin yan dahil maganda naman ang iyong suggestion na yan. Siguro lagyan mo lang ng alternative recommendation. Nakuha. So anak, para sa iyo anak, ikaw tanungin ko, uh, Marja. Sa palagay mo, What are the disadvantages of alcohol drinking in grade 11 students? Nasa finding siya. Nasa conclusion din siya. So what can you recommend? Yun po, um, sir, yung i-hold po nila yung pag-consume po ng alcohols po. Correct. Yun ang recommendation mo, na. Sino? Recommendation mo for the students to stop Diba? Of drinking alcohol because there are advantages or uh, sabi natin na magiging uh, masamang effects into their body.